Okay, so let's take a look at some of the SQL Server DBCC commands. So DBCC commands are basically database console commands and these have four categories right so if you go to official dbcc transact sql document you will find it has four categories maintenance miscellaneous information and validation so maintenance does the task on database index and file groups miscellaneous tasks have properties such as trace flags removing a DLL from memory etc then comes information which are basically related to task of gathering displaying information and finally validation on database so it has its own set of operations on database like table index group and pages so these are four categories that you will be making use of when running those commands right so let's open sql server management studio and let's try out a query right to show you how these commands work so first we will try to run a query right so type in new query by right clicking the connection or specific database and here let's see if we type in dbcc help then space and within that we will be passing in question mark right so we'll get list of available help commands for dbcc right so here you see you have commands like check allocation catalog constraints check db ident table clean table and few others Right, so these are some of the commands that you will come across then comes help and then check db right so what we'll do is we'll simply add that within help to see what this command does so here you see it will show you what this command does if dbcc prints an error you will have to contact your system admin so here it will show you how it takes the input for check db so if we run only the check db right and execute it it will take some time and it will return you the results right it will tell you about the output right and you can view that in so here you see all the results and also completion time right so basically dbcc commands start with keyword dbcc as you can see then the next will be the command that you wish to perform on database or table or index right similarly there are some commands that you can see as per these categories so if you check for dbcc maintenance commands or information command or validation command you will come across those categorical commands right so we will take a look at few like say dbcc trace status right so it will basically return the trace flags enabled by connection so run this here you see execution completed if there is error report so it doesn't return any for us right now but if we use minus one let's see what it will do is it will list all the trace flags then globally right so again we don't have any such so that was for trace status and if we check some of the commands such as let's see user options right so if we go for that you will see that it will return the option set for current connection like isolation level or code identifier and few other set options right so dbcc user options will deal with that 
now if we make use of another informational command such as let's say SQL perf and we try and get log space right and if we execute this it will return us that data so this data is basically transaction log space usage uh, for all available log files and here you can see we will show you database specific and its log size right so this was for one of the informational command sql perf similarly you can also make use of other commands but before that we will have to use let's say use master right and here if we go with dbcc then space then show file stats right then here you can see what it returns is you get the location for the file and its extent data as well right you will also get location where that file is right for our master db similarly we can also check constraints with all constraints enabled so let's see check constraints right with all underscore constraints right and if we execute this right so currently nothing returns because we don't have any constraint as of now so that was uh, our show file stats and check constraints there are a few more other commands that we can look at like let's say if I use particular database let's see this is test db so let's go with that test db and then within dbcc we make use of particular command check table right so this check table here we will use is dbu dot let's say user jobs so we will take user jobs right and if we run this uh, it says incorrect because we will have to use quote here let's see if it is going to work that way and here you see the BCC result for user jobs there are 100 rows and one page for this particular object right so this is what our check table does it verifies the data page integrity and then page offset and also returns you that output for how many rows and page it has for that object similarly we can also check allocation so check allocation so it checks the current database so instead of using testdb or keeping this as is we can check allocation let's execute and here you see result for our testdb so what's allocated how much memory then few other details right so you'll have to scroll through because it's a bit long data right so apart from that there are two commands which enables and disables tracing so basically you make use of trace connection on so trace on and off right so trace on and off enables disable your tracing similarly you have memory status so Oh, let's take a look at that memory status right so if we run this you will find that it will return the memory consumption of database and other details like similarly you will also find that it will return you log info dbcc right so it shows uh, your virtual log file info right so as you can see here will give you the log file details 
similarly uh, previously we checked check db so let's check it again by specifically using test db as example instead of master right and here you see details for our test db with check db command right so we have seen oh, so far trace on memory status check allocation test db then check db also login for you can also check now one more thing that we can do is with dbcc we can go for let's say our one of the command db info right so db info basically takes your database here in in this case test db and we can return the output with table results right and if we remove this can still run it and here you see your db info output for current test db you can even go for master and get the similar output right so it will show the result for two different databases right now comes show config uh, this needs to be used with your table so test db and dbcc and here you see show config right and here we pass on dbo dot let's say any specific like user jobs right so we are passing that so let's see if it requires code or it will accept input as is so here you see user job table and it will tell you the data about your fragmentation within that particular table page scan one extent and few other things right so basically this command will tell you whether your current table page or index is fragmented or not right then comes another command which is show underscore statistics source that is sticks right so that's one of the command right and we will have to pass dbu user jobs to that and if we execute this right here you see incorrect number of parameter we are given because we may also need to pass on your index something like user jobs right then whatever the index number is and we'll have to pass on so i skip that so i got the error so if you have your index ready for that particular table you can pass it on right then there is proc cache which is showing information about your procedure cache right so we'll take a look at that proc cache right so if we run is as is so if we execute here you see proc buff used unused active right the buff active cache size all of that will be displayed here so these are some of the commands and there are plenty of the commands that i have not covered but you can find your dbcc related command info here so when you open this specific page of dbcc command okay then you will find this through google and on left hand side all the commands are listed right so you may have to keep going through this right each four category has specific set of commands that you can go through so take a look at that